Hello, one Yenza here. Today, I don't know, probably something. I don't know, we'll look at something. Let's see, there's Ping. Uh, bam, there we go. Okay, so this is a Pittsburgh Steelers mid 1980s. Well, it would have been a Louis Lips jersey, but a lot of times back then they didn't have the name on the back. So, or between now and then, if there was a name on the back, it was taken off. But this one didn't look like it had a name on the back. This is from my cousin. He don't remember it having a name on the back, which isn't surprising either. But, um, this one's everything stitched. Actually, the, the look and feel of this, uh, is like a, um, starter was. But it's a sand net, so... And sand that was right before starter took over so here we go alrighty so everything like I said is stitched on here zigzag stitching and the twill I mean there's a couple little blemishes here and there on it uh, like right there and right there but otherwise it's in good condition and usually, shoulders stitched on, the sleeves are silk screened. This is not silk screened. This is material. A little bit. So, I kind of liked it. And we made a bet. And he lost. And I won. So, I got this. You go this is made by sand net Berlin Wisconsin McGregor sporting goods God McGregor was big whenever I was a kid oh nothing ever lasts all right well, maybe there was a name bar in the back of here now that I'm looking at it I'm not sure Maybe somebody took it off because they didn't want to represent Louis Lips anymore. And they wanted to represent Mr. Miller. Who was the tight end who also wore number 83. But then again, uh, there's been a ton of people who wore number 83. Let me step back here make sure I don't kill myself like I almost did. Alright, so that's the back of it. As you can see, no name bar whatsoever when it comes down to it. So, what... What the hell is that? Oh, I see. Okay. I'll let you have your moment. I'm not going to say who you are. The diesel. All right. That was weird. Sorry, it stopped me. That thing just came out of nowhere. Okay. So, like I said, this reminds me of the starter jerseys. Sleeves are a little bit more loose, but overall, it does have that feel. And I, it doesn't say anything here about what it's made out of. I thought there was an inside, oh, yep, inside tag. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. 100% nylon. Do not dry clean or iron, but people still do. See, when you iron it, you get the iron marks, like right here. But you kind of need to press these on sometimes to get them to stick. Uh, so you can stitch it. At least they're not using all the crap that they used back in the early 2000s. Which... Now, whenever you wash them over and over again, there was a little line of glue that went through it that you can see in the number. So, alrighty, so there you have it. We're going to call this, uh, I don't know what, 
19, mid 1980s. And he was, what, Louis Lips was 84, I think. So, 84 or 85. Uh, I don't know. It's a, it's a large. So, I don't know if I want to call this authentic. I'm calling this authentic because, you know, things were different back then. So, we're going to call this Pittsburgh Steelers, number 83, Louis Lips. Uh, mid. 1980s, 1984, 1985, authentic home football jersey by Sandnet, made of 100% nylon and made in the good old USA. So there you have it. Oh, there's Ping. There you go. Thank you.